I've been at <laughs> I've been at dinner with you, and I've noticed that um, you're not afraid to sort of stand up for your consumer rights. Like hmm. I don't complain. You for don't, instance, I could like tell. If, a, if a meal comes out and it's the wrong meal, I don't say nothing. If it's oh, cold, friend. I also don't complain. Like even <laughs> if I if I bought a car and it only had three wheels, I'd still try and drive that bad you're boy. Home. So yeah, okay. but your grand Danya, you're so nice. your grand <laughs> mad dog Danya, you could drive a car with three wheels yeah, still. That's true. What I I'm see, trying to say is yeah. I'm different to how Ed's built. <laughs> We're all different to how Ed's built. My, what happens? <laughs> so you're a unit. You're a massive unit. Uh, I love you. I, you know what I love? I had such different misconceptions about you. Really? And you've come into this and you're as weird as I am. Well, this is good. Mm, I'll accept that. I, yeah, thank you. I I'll take that, that as a thank you. Yes. You. Thing, I appreciate that. And I feel like I'm getting sucked into something here, but I am. And I, the point is, if you write a complaint letter. Yes. You will get rewarded. This is people have forgotten the lost art of letter writing, complaint letter writing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I once received a bo- a big sack of Super Dupers. They, you know, the ice, the icy oh, poles. They're in my yep. freezer right now. They still cut the sides of my mouth. Okay, Come on. but there were too many green ones. <laughs> green is the least popular flavor, and as we all know, you get to the end, and they're all just the green ones just sitting there, and no one wants to buy a new bag because there's still some left, but they're the green ones. No one wants them, <laughs> and you're sort of in this standoff of Super Dupers where no one ever gets another red one in their life. Mm-hmm. So I wrote a letter. Dear Super Dupers. <laughs> of course you did. On the back of the every product, if you look, there's either a phone number or an address. Dear Super Dupers, I love your product. However, there are too many green ones, and you we all know they're the least popular one. You would sell more if you took out some of the green ones because you get a higher volume of sales. Mm. How old so were you giving them you suggestions right? on how to run their business, which oh. is good. I was in my I like 20s. It. I was living in a share house in you Newtown. You were in your 20s yeah. when you wrote a letter about Zuper Dupers. Yeah, my <laughs> friends and I were living in a share house in Newtown, and we wanted, you know, we needed... <laughs> We were, th- we were students, man, with no money. So yeah. we received voucher for three free packets of Zuper Dupers. Nice. Fantastic. So it works. Are you self-clapping? I'm clapping myself here. Are you here. solo clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a solo clap? It works. Sure. Did it then? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, well, we can probably pull that down. With, then we, we appreciate the orchestra coming in. So do you think... That this still goes on because yes. I get, yeah, come on in. And also 131060 has a complaint letter paid off for you. Have you got sweet, sweet booty because you complained? Because my friend, um, he's a very passionate barbecue shapes consumer. Yes. And he went to the shops and bought what he thought was original flavor green box of a barbecue shape. But when he got back from the shops, he realized to his dismay, it was actually pizza, which traditionally was a purple box. But when Barbecue Shape rebranded, the pizza flavor was a green box. Why would you do that? Yes. What a silly thing for them to do. So he rang the complaints line and got Dawn. And poor Dawn from Arnott's copped it from Lyndon. (laughs) (laughs) And Lyndon received in the mail a voucher for one free box of original Barbecue Shape. Still got it. So wow. I would argue, because remember there were, there were shrinking chocolate bars mm. and they were shrinking ice creams without telling us. Mm. Yep. Oh. I believe mm. that there were people who were writing letters that were, rece- that to, sh- to shut them up because <laughs> the Magnum, there were, Magnums have shrunk. <laughs> magnums used to be the size of your head. Yeah. It yeah. used to take two people to carry a Magnum out of the shops. <laughs> okay. Right? Now yeah. they're thimble sized <laughs> and <laughs> not fulfilling. <laughs> They're not the meal they used There's to be. so many food. Ba- they change the flavor of Kit Kats, the recipe. What? Yeah, that's oh. a conspiracy theory going around. A lot of people complain. A lot of people complain. They're delicious, well, though. Well, so many people complain about barbecue shapes. They went back to the old. Like, there was a collective complaint too. that paid off. They're back to the original. People and power. People power. Yeah. And chips. What about chips? We can open a bag of chip and there's like three in there now. I do love in one. In the bottom. Yes. Oh, my daughter Half did a speech about air. that. Yeah, and that a is... speech at the UN? No, at the speech competition. <laughs> That's funny. And the reason she rang them, the reason they do that is to keep it crisp. You've got to have a certain amount of, of air in um, there with the chip and you've got to have that space whatever. so they don't go stale. <laughs> whatever. Well, they used to be full. Today FM Breakfast with M, Grant and Ed.